about pseudopodia. Let's see more information about the pseudopodia in the module 6. Okay, so then in module 6, what you're going to learn about salt gel theory, that uh, formation of pseudopodia, the theory which explains about the formation of pseudopodia. Here the pseudopodia is formed by the conversion of the gel and uh, sol. The conversion of the gel into sol and sol into gel. Okay. So that means, first of all, we need to see who is called gel and who is called sol. That, uh, so let us, let's take a look on amoeba as an example. If you take a look on amoeba as an example, that we better understand. So then, uh, uh, here I am putting uh, some differentiation of uh, ectoplasm and endoplasm here that just below the plasma lemma, whatever present is ectoplasm, just below the plasma lemma here this is. Okay, so let me recognize, let us uh, say again what is plasma lemma. So this is plasma lemma or cell membrane. Okay, so and uh, just below the plasma lemma, whatever present, that is called ectoplasm. And here inside, that is said to be endoplasm. Okay, ectoplasm and endoplasm. Okay, so just remember, keep this uh, issues to be remembered over. So the pseudopodium is formed by the conversion of the gel to salt and vice versa. Okay. So here, uh, for the formation of uh, pseudopodia, there are the different theories are there. Different theories are there on the formation of pseudopodium in that sol gel transformation theory is the most accepted theory. Sol gel transformation theory is the most accepted theory. Who proposed this theory? The sol gel theory is proposed by L.H. Hyman. L.H. Hyman. She is a lady that you can see her. L.H. Hyman proposed the Sol gel theory. Okay, so that uh, explained by Pantin and Mast. Pantin and Mast are explained. Now, let us correlate with the land thing here. Let us correlate. Here the gel and Sol. We need to recognize the plasma gel and plasma Sol. Here you can see that our said ectoplasm, plasma lemma, ectoplasm and endoplasm. There you can see all these things here. Then Sol gel theory of amoeboid moment. So let's take a look. Actually we have uh, very few and a little information about this particular Sol gel theory. We are not going to learn in detail. Just we need to know what is gel, what is Sol. That's all. Plasma gel, plasma Sol. Okay. So in general, we are talking here, we are considering the ectoplasm as plasma gel and endoplasm as plasma sol. Okay, endoplasm as plasma sol. Some consider in the endoplasm itself, gel and sol are present, likewise they consider no matter. Just uh, only thing we need to uh, learn here, gel can be converted into sol and sol can be converted into gel. Okay, so now I am, I am taking this as the gel and sol, plasma membrane. I think I introduced all the three, whatever the participants here in the formation of pseudopodium. Now, let's take a look here. Let's take a look. So that is pseudopodia. What you can see, this is a pseudopodia. Amoeba attaches to the, during the formation of pseudopodia, now we are talking about Amoeba attaches to the substratum by plasma lemma. Okay, so who is plasma lemma? That I'll do remember you once again. Just I am introducing the terminology. This is plasma lemma. Okay, amoeba attaches to the substratum by plasma lemma and forms the hyaline cap at the advancing end here like this. So amoeba during the, uh, that attaches to the substratum by plasma lemma and forms the hyaline cap, a transparent cap, here it is, hyaline cap at the advancing end. The opposite to this end is called retractile end or uroid end. Opposite to this end is said to be 
retractile end or eroid end. Then who we, whom we call eroid end? That retractile or end or eroid end, which is the wrinkle surface, whatever present, that is called that eroid end. Okay. So then, solution takes place at the eroid end. Here, the solution takes place. Okay. That, that means, what is solution? Now we need to learn what is solution. The conversion of the gel into salt. Let me write here. The conversion of the gel into salt. So how to convert the gel into salt? The simple, by adding water. By adding water, we can convert the gel into salt. So, okay. So what is happening at the eroid end? Eroid end, solution takes place. Okay, solution takes place. Now, let's move on. So gelation that takes place at the anterior advancing end, that means here, gelation takes place. Here what is happening? Gelation is happening. That means conversion of the sol into gel. Conversion of the sol into gel is said to be uh, happening at uh, advancing end. Okay, so that what do you say? How do we convert uh, the sol into gel by losing water? by losing water, okay. So then let me here, uh, let me continue. The plasma gel can be converted into sol and plasma sol can be converted into gel. The conversion of the plasma gel into the sol is called as solution. The conversion of the sol into the gel is called gelation, which leads to the formation of pseudopodium. Actually, what's, what is matter for us, we are not going to learn the complete formation of pseudopodium in detail. This is the equation. Just for formality, I've shown all of that to you. <coughs> Excuse me. But this is the thing you need to. Where it all happens, it doesn't matter for us. You people remember, need to remember this. Conversion of the gel into sol is called solution. Okay. Conversion of the sol into gel plasma gel in, into that we say gelation and these actions that are gelation and solation. These two actions are responsible for the formation of pseudopodium. Conversion of the sol into the gel into the sol and sol into the gel are responsible for the formation of pseudopodium. That you need to remember up to that much itself. Okay. So that uh, these kind of conversions are helps in the displacement of the body in the forward direction, okay. So then the gelation at the anterior end, solation at the posterior end, occur simultaneously at the same rate of conversion. That means here what he is saying, that uh, solation and uh, gelation is going to occur at the same. As the pseudopodium advances continuously, the body of the amoeba is also going to move forward. Okay, so let me say again, Actually, it will take a lot of time for the explanation of uh, sol gel theory in detail. But do remember, do remember simply where I am focusing according to the textbook. No need to learn the total information of the conversion of the that sol gel theory. So I request you people to be remembered. So just for uh, your recognition, I shown the areas like uroid end and advancing and all that. But you need to remember something is happening there that gel is converting into sol and sol is converting into gel. The conversion of the gel into sol is called as solution and the conversion of the gel in sol into gel is called as gelation. In respected places, the solution and gelation is going to happen because of that, that the pseudopodium is going to be formed and organism moving forward. Very slow locomotion it is. Okay, let me continue. Let me continue here. That, the, that only we matter for us. Okay, so uh, the same sol gel theory explained by Allen that uh, continuation, that means uh, small corrections he made and his theory about that sol gel theory that he said fountain zone theory or front contraction theory. Just to remember the name, that's all. Even theory we are not going. 
and then propose that the fountain zone theory or front contraction theory so what it consider it is considered to be more appropriate and uh, some believe so that uh, the conversion of the gel into the sol and sol into the gel is not by adding water and losing water it is by two types of filaments like actin and uh, myosin okay so that is also a theory that uh, <coughs> excuse me the amoeboid of pseudopodial movement is performed by amoeba entamoeba polystomella actinophrys whatever the all the animals are having pseudopodia so it is also exhibited by some cells of metazoan that's why we are learning this metazoan some of the metazoans are exhibiting these kind of uh, locomotion metazoans means animals in case of human being also if you remember we have wbc white blood cell in the white blood cell there is a cell called monocytes that monocytes when they become activated we say them as macrophages so in the macrophages also the pseudopodia like a structures are going to be formed that's why the so many scientists are paid effort how the pseudopodia is going to be formed that among them So, so many theories are there surface tension theory proposed by berthold front contraction theory now we are seeing fountain zoom theory allen that uh, the contraction theory is there by dellinger likewise rolling movement theory is by jenning but here the most considerable acceptable theory is lh hyman proposed a sol gel theory here in the sol gel theory even what i am saying you people need to remember the conversion of the gel into sol is called solution conversion of the sol into sol gel sol into gel is called gelation such conversion is going to be makes the formation of pseudopodium which makes the organism to move forward in the case of neutrophil if you remember this is also a type of wbc neutrophil there in the neutrophil also we can see that uh, the, the, this this kind of amoeboid locomotion pseudopodia locomotion with pseudopodia is called amoeboid locomotion okay it is the most primitive and the slowest type of locomotion it is the most primitive and the slowest type of locomotion we can see okay then amoeboid movement see here just uh, uh, that how it uh, form the pseudopodia and how it is moving forward you can see here this is the pseudopodia are getting formed and uh, this with the help of this pseudopodia that organism is going to move forward okay and i remember you once again so people need to remember the types of pseudopodia and that gelation and solation okay let's talk about some questions here actin and myosin play important role in amoeboid movement amoeboid movement very good amoeboid movement and question number 2 the gel plasma gel by adding water which we call solution what it gives plasma yes what it gives plasma solution plasma, plasma. solution it gives plasma solution very good so that's it that's it about uh, the types of pseudopodia and the formation of pseudopodia in brief types of pseudopodia and formation of pseudopodia in brief.